How's it going guys and welcome back to a brand new I rate your teams video for cheap fast and reliable FIFA 20 ultimate team coins check out u7buy.com and use code Haber to get yourself 5% off all of your orders just want to quickly ask before getting to this episode if you could smash a like on the video really uh if we could go for 2000 likes that'd be amazing uh it's been a while since we've sort of hit 2000 likes on an episode uh, I just want to see if you guys are still enjoying the videos really if you guys are still enjoying the series um, you know, I just, just want to see where you guys are at with it, really. Um, but over the week, uh, or sorry, should I say over the weekend, technically Friday's the weekend, we got the CDA team of the season. Uh, we've got Cristiano Ronaldo, we have got Luis Alberto, Martinez, Immobile, uh, Gomez, Dybala, Nangolin, Hernandez, and Zinio. We've got some amazing, amazing cards at not ridiculously expensive prices. I've no idea how he's under a million coins. I really don't. This card looks phenomenal. Um, but somehow Nangolin is 819k. Now, Real quick, before we jump into the teams, I have done this a little bit differently. Now, usually what I would do is I would go hashtag it's Haber, latest and just scroll and talk about all the teams that appear uh, in the order that they appear and just sort of give you guys my opinion. Now, what I've actually done is I've handpicked um, 14 teams to go through. Um, and I've picked them based on the fact that I've never seen them in episodes before. I've never seen their teams before. And I wanted to try and make it so that everyone can get involved. And also, I don't want to pick the same teams all the time. I feel like... On these episodes, we see a lot of 4-2-3-1, the Mbappe, Neymar up top, Ben Yedder somewhere as well. Literally sort of like this, you know, uh, Neymar, Mbappe, Ben Yedder, which is not to slate the team because it's a phenomenal team. And obviously, Mbappe, Neymar and Ben Yedder are the best players on the game, realistically. Uh, I just wanted to try and, you know, have a, have a few newish teams on here. There might still be some with Mbappe and Neymar in there, and I do apologize if there are. I just wanted to try and spice things up a little bit in the episodes. If you don't like this new format, please let me know in the comments down below, and I'll go straight back to the old one. Just... I thought I'd change it up a slight bit. First team I come from Finn, who says, I have 100,000 coins and Drogba is the only tradable. I finished gold three in champs. Uh, just wanted to quickly say, by the way, I don't know if this will mean anything to anyone, but hopefully it does. Gold three is a good rank to finish. Most players, the majority of players in FIFA and in weekend league finish silver one or below. That's not a made up stat. Over 50% of players finish silver one or below. That's genuine. The players that play every single weekend. So if you're finishing gold 3 two, one elite 3 two, one whatever you're finishing, don't feel bad about where you finish. I see a lot of people saying that, oh, um, you know, you're a bad player for finishing gold 3 or how you don't deserve these player picks in gold 3. If you're finishing gold, you're a good player. You know, don't, don't take rubbish from anyone. Don't let yourself feel down about where you finish because it doesn't matter what team you've got. It doesn't matter who you are. Finishing gold, gold 3 two, one wherever you finish, you're a good player, in my opinion. Now, for less unnecessary waffle, uh, here is the team. Um, this is what you start with, and then this is what you're playing in game. You're playing a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow, and these are your subs as well. Um, I'll tell you what, you've had some pretty good red look, to be fair. Robbo's a really good left back. What I'm... Sorry, excuse me. What I'm looking for in this team, what I'm looking at, sorry. Um, I like the I like the uh, the Alonso as a centre mid. I like Kovacic's centre mid. I like Vitzel's CDM. Uh, I am unsure about Hugo Sanchez. I'm unsure about Drogba as well. Um, given you only have 100,000 coins, I wouldn't necessarily change much. Now, you're saying Drogba is the only tradable item in this entire team. Let's have a quick look at how much this card sells for. He is currently on the market, 257k. Now, how much is this card? This is a card that I recommend to a lot of people because I say that this card is a really good card. Now, hit... Prime is 199 and his prime moments is 403. Now you could maybe stretch to get to the extra the extra 50k you need for the prime. Uh, sorry, the prime moments. Um, but the prime is just as good. The reason why I say this card over Drogba, uh, mainly I know he's only got three star skills, but mainly uh, faster, way better agility and balance. Um, and a card like this, who's 5'8", but has half decent strength and can be upped with a good chem style as well. Um, you can up this card, uh, with numerous different chem styles to kind of improve his, uh, improve his strength in game. I feel like they play better when they're on the ball. It's harder to shake them off the ball. Um, and it's easier to sort of keep the ball with them. Whereas a drug, but I think is a little bit clunky. I think that turning with them would be difficult. I think that you'll find with the low balance, they would get pushed off the ball quite easily and it'll go to ground quite easily. So I think that going for someone a little bit smaller might be a little bit better for the team. Um, the rest of this team though, fantastic. You've got an end game center back here in Ede Militao. You've got end game fullbacks. Uh, Varane could definitely be improved with time, but I don't think it's a necessity right now. I think he's still a very good player right now. Um, Odegaard's good. Uh, Kovacic, you, your entire midfield is fantastic, actually, to be fair. It's just the attackers that I think need work on. Um, but like I said, when you have the coins, you can upgrade Hugo Sanchez. It's not, it's not exactly 
uh, a big deal right now to upgrade that Hugo Sanchez. And for Drogba, if you want to go for someone a little bit smaller, I think Michael Owen's not a bad shout. Obviously, if you're enjoying Drogba, carry on enjoying Drogba. Next team coming from PXL, who says, Sup, it's Haber. Everyone is untradeable. The bud budget is currently 500k. Thinking of getting Coutinho for Zola, the goalkeeper is going to get replaced by Testegen. If I get Coutinho, how would I line up in a 4-2-3-1? If you get Coutinho, who realistically... So, thinking of Coutinho for Zola. See, in my opinion, I would replace Goetze. Honestly, out of this entire setup, I think Goetze is the one I'd replace here. Zola is definitely the one in this entire setup that is the best, in my opinion, as an out-and-out -out striker in a 4-2-3-1 as opposed to as opposed to Goetze. Now, looking at the team, I would say if you're going to set up in a 4-2-3-1, let's, let's imagine you did replace Goetze with Coutinho. I would say Jadon Sancho out on the left. I would say Nabry out on the right. I would say Coutinho in the middle. And I'd say up top, uh, Zola. I know you've just got the, the Goetze and you might want to use him a little bit more and that's totally fine. I get that 100%. Um, I just don't think Goetze would be a good out-and-out -out striker. I don't think Nabry would be a good out-and-out -out striker. And if you did go with Nabry up top, then you've got the issue of having a wide cam because I don't think Coutinho would be great out wide and neither would Goetze. So that's sort of why I would say what I'm saying. I mean, getting to stay in the net is a fantastic shout as well. His tots card is nuts. It's absolutely unbelievable. Um, and the rest of this team, to be honest, is, is, is end game. In my opinion, um, you know, Jane Sancho is a phenomenal left mid. Obviously, if you end up maybe packing a huge player or just saving up a lot of coins, you can end up getting his right mid card on seven chem at left mid, uh, the team of the season one. You've got a fantastic CDM partnership in Goetze, uh, sorry, in Goretzka and Witzel, both phenomenal in this game. And you've got a fantastic cam and striker lineup. So I wouldn't change anything else with this team. I would just say probably Coutinho over Goetze. That's it. Next one comes from Benjamin. He says, Hi, Haber. The first is how I start. The second is how I play in game. Ben Yedda is the only tradable and I have 100,000 coins for changes. I'm not sure if I want Kante, but I would like to have everyone a full chem. Love the vids. Keep it the good work. Hey, I appreciate it, dude. Much love, man. Let's check it out. Rightio. Okay, I see I see what you, you're trying to do here. How you're trying to work it all in. Um, I will say, Kante is a fantastic CDM. Even still, he's really, really good. Uh, I think that Pedro looks like a really good card. Um, you do have the ability here to also go with a Spaniard at right back. If you don't want to go with Max Aaron's, you could go with the likes of uh, Carvajal if you really wanted to go with Carvajal. Um, however, this back line does look phenomenal. Um, not entirely sure about Saul. I'm not going to lie to you. Now, a lot of people say he's phenomenal, but a lot of people say he's incredibly clun clunky in game. I don't know which to believe. You've already done the SBC. So it probably seems counterintuitive, really, to replace him. Um, but I would say Lamar. Do I do I rate Lamar in this setup? Is there really anyone else you can go with here? I think really it depends on how quickly you can save coins here. So Lamar's not the worst shout. However, a card I think would work in your setup is this Pavel Nedved card. Four-star skills, five-star weak foot, really good in-game stats, uh, and performs really well, even still at this stage in the game. He performs really, really well in-game, and I think could be a really good uh, addition to your team here, uh, and will play really well as a wide cam. Um, obviously, Lamar 75k, and this card is two, uh, this this Pavel Nevin is 200k, so that could be a problem. If you can save up the coins, I would go for it. Otherwise, stick with Lamar. The rest of the team, though, is really, really good. If you could also let me know how on earth you managed to get a Prime Moments Coman untradeable, if that's from Div Rival Rewards, my mind is blown. Because that's not a, that's not an Icon Swap player. Um, GG on the pool regardless. It looks like actually a really good centre-back in game as well. He looks like really, really good. I like the look of this card a lot. Um, so yeah, I mean, GG on the squad, to be fair. It's a really nice squad. The next one coming from Cave, who says, Hope you're well. Second pick is what I play in game. Thinking of switching to a 4 and 2 on 2 the traders are Son, Ronaldinho, Robertson. I've got 1.3 mil from trading. What would you recommend? Love the vids. Hey, much love, bro. I appreciate it, dude. Let's check out the squad. Okie dokie. A lot of a lot of blue action here. Um, I like this straight away. I like this. It's an endgame squad, realistically. Uh, it really is. I would say the only things I'd change here, not... Not that I don't like Kovacic, because I really like Kovacic, but I think that Jordan Henderson's team of the season will be a better CDM than Kovacic. Uh, I think that he's just better as an all-round CDM. Um, everything else about this team is fantastic, and I wouldn't change anything else apart from that one small minor change. Um, yeah, but apart from that, it's a really, really good team, to be fair. If you're looking to go 4-2-2 narrow, uh, be sure to tweet me your team and what you think you'd do in a 4-2-2 narrow, but 
the rest of this is a, a, a lovely, lovely setup. And what I will say as well, uh, having used this mid-run Aldinho card, I'm kind of gutted that I don't use it anymore. But we packed that 99 KDB and I can't put Dino in the squad, unfortunately. He is really good. On the ball, he is fantastic. He makes a lot of things happen. The only thing that I will say about Ronaldinho is when he becomes Fraudinho, he is really hard to play with. There is times where either the gameplay switches or you're just not having a good day with him. He can't score anything and he feels like the clunkiest player on the pitch. But for the other 28 games of Weekend League, he's phenomenal. So it's one of those plays I wish that I could use again. I might have to bring him back to the sub bench because... He is really, really good on the ball. He's got so much flair when he's playing as well, so I might have to try him out again. Um, but, I mean, I really do like this team a lot. Next team from Ali, who says, Yo, hey, but the first team is... Uh, this is my first team. The second is what I play in game. Just looking for you to rate my team. If you see anywhere I can improve, I've got 500k budget. Stay safe and keep it the good work. Much love, man. Much love, dude. Uh, hopefully, you and your family are all good and 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 safe in this, in this time, I guess. Uh, you know what I would say with this team? Straight off the bat... Uh, Puyol, mate. What? No. So, rating-wise, if I was going to rate this team, I would say, if we take off ratings, I would take off one rating straight away for, for Trezeguet and Casemiro. They're both incredibly against the meta, in my opinion. Akoch is not bad, but his, his stamina lets him down a lot. Bobby Moore is absolutely terrible. Puyol is absolutely terrible as well, in my opinion. I would say, with 500,000 coins, if you're looking for a right-back to play in uh, centre-back in-game, Oh, what would I do? You know what? You don't need to do that at all, actually. You could go and complete the Premier League SPC, get yourself team of the season slabbed, put him at right centre back, put Wamasaka at right back, play Nabri off chem, because you're gonna play you're gonna play Wamasaka off chem anyway, so you might as well you might as well get eight chem for Nabri as opposed to the seven you get for Wamasaka. Uh Slabed with a shadow is phenomenal, by the way. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, so I, I think you could do that. You also get the opportunity then to get packs back and potentially pack something sick from the Premier League SBC. I would also look to upgrade Bobby Moore when you can, because that is a big L. I'm sorry, it just is. He is just terrible, in my opinion. He's just awful. Um, once you've done that, Casemiro is definitely the next place I would look to upgrade. Uh, who you can upgrade to, realistically, is going to be quite tough. I mean, what you could do is you could put a Kocha at left cam, isolating Richarlison, and then you can go Premier League with your centre mid and get, for example, a top Jordan Henderson when you got the coins for him as well. Uh, that could work. Um, I, you don't have Ndidi, unfortunately. Um, or, alternatively, you could... Again, put a Kocha to left cam. You could put Richarlison back to centre mid and you could put your Bakayoko up top, which I think you've probably been doing before. Um, that could also work. Uh, that Bakayoko is a phenomenal CDM, the one you've got on the bench. Um, but yeah, I just, again, I, I don't, I just don't, I don't rate Casemiro and I don't rate Puyol at all. Let me know how Chazagay is though. I mean, he, I don't think he's really, he doesn't really go along the grain with this year's meta. However, I like it when I see people using these kind of cards because whilst he's not very fast, 85 pace is not bad, but it's not great. And he's got poor agility and balance. He's still got phenomenal shooting. You know, he's still got four star skills. He's still got really good strength and, you know, he's still six foot two. So he still probably performs pretty well in game. Uh, depending on if you know how to use him, I guess. And I'm guessing you do, considering you're still using them. The next one is coming from Kieran. He says, only really looking for some good subs. I've got 88 Bruno Fernandes over Perez now. Okay. Perez... Josie Perez. Oh, so you... Okay, I get it now. I get it. Right, this is a nice team, to be fair. This is a really well-built team. It's a really well-built team. Uh, Subs-wise, for 100k, I mean, straight away, um, you guys can't see it right now, but Michael has recommended Visca Tots uh, and Marlin Inform, both pretty decent. Uh, trying to think who I use for subs here. You can't really get my subs. I've, I've got a ridiculous sub budget, but... I would say if you need a CDM slash centre mid sub, this guy is your guy. He is a really good guy in game. A really good guy. Really good card in game. Uh, he's got five star weak foot. He's tall. He's strong. He's he's pretty quick for a CDM. Uh, you know, he's pretty decent. And staying on the same sort of tune, this card for 63k is also a phenomenal CDM. Really, really good stats in game, in my opinion. Could perform pretty well as a wide cam, as a striker, as a cam, you know, anywhere. I think he performed really well. Um, but that's what I'd recommend in terms of subs. Uh, nice team though. I like the team a lot. The next team coming from River or Brandon, who says, Hey, Haber, first is how I start. The second is the bench and the third is in game. I only have around 50,000 coins at the minute. Lewandowski, Havertz, and Babu, Guerrero, and Alaba, the only tradables. I got Hummels and Rona from Guaranteed Packs. Rona, Rona, Rona. Ronaldinho? Ronaldo? Rona. 
Who is? Oh, okay. I get it. I get why. I get why you've shortened his name. All right, that makes sense. Um, wait, you've got Drogba over here on the bench as well. I'm guessing you got him from a guaranteed. Yeah, I have to agree with what Rob's saying here. Um. Back out at CDM with 44 defending. I'm not entirely sure about that one. I'm not entirely sure if you meant Guerrero there and Kaka as a lamb. I would guess that's probably the case, to be honest, because this is the only logical explanation, I would say. Uh, by the way, it looks like a half-decent CDM. Not the world's best, but it doesn't look horrendous, to be fair. Um, what would I say with this team, though? You've got 50,000 coins at the minute. Can't really make a whole lot of upgrades with 50,000 coins. I'm not going to lie to you. I would say maybe Alaba out, Vendel in. Uh, or Wendell, however you say that guy's name. Um, he has a pretty decent card this year, in my opinion. His his UCL live card. Um, as a left back, looks pretty good. He's got four star skills as well. Um, looks like a really really decent uh, a really decent left back card here. I think could could be better over Alaba. Apart from that though, I really wouldn't change anything else. I think the team is is solid. I don't think with fifty thousand coins you've got much changing to do. I would say. Um, wait and see what you get from upgrades or from guaranteed packs if you do any. Um, and then see what happens with the team and how it changes from there. Next team, the next team, sorry, coming from Richard, who says, I've got 2.3 mil to spend on the team. They are all first owner, and the untradables are in Didi, Mares, and Regulion. The first pick is the team, and the second pick is in game. Lovely content over Tots. Uh, wishing you more great pack luck. Appreciate it, my dude. Thank you very much. So, wow. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. I like this team a, a lot, a lot. You're playing a 4 1 2 2 narrow in game as well. I respect it. It's a very good, very attacking based formation. Um, what are we saying? Okay, so what the only thing I would say with this, right? I think you've got three incredibly defensive-minded midfielders here. And I think you need to change one to a more offensive-minded midfielder. I uh, don't know which one I would suggest changing. I'm thinking maybe De Jong. The untradables are in Didi Mares and Regulion. Yeah, I'm thinking De Jong could be the one you change here. Now, it's going to be painful. Because I get it. It's a team of the season, Frankie De Jong. It's a 900k card. It takes you to 3.2 million. I am wondering if you can afford the mid version of this card. I don't think you can, can you? He's he's a bit more 4.6. Unfortunate. Wait, are you on Xbox? No, PlayStation. Unfortunate. You could try and stretch every last coin you've got and go with the prime Zidane at left center mid here and play him as a as the box the more attacking minded box to box in this setup. Uh, that could work. Uh, the reason why I think that. I would go rather with someone like Zidane as opposed to De Jong. I think that the way you're set up, when you're going forward, you rely heavily on the front three, which obviously, you know, they're attackers, right? You, you're going to rely on them. But when I've ever played the forward until too narrow, it's amazing to have that center mid pushing forward and being a support mechanism behind the attack to create more space. And I think that with a Frankie De Jong or a, an Essien as your two center mids, you kind of relinquish that ability to have a really good player on the ball to hold up play whilst the attack is getting to great position. So I think uh, Prime Zidane could actually work here and you will just about have enough coins for him ish if you stretch every coin to the last uh, the last possible cent. Um, I've used, I haven't used Prime Zidane this year, but I've used Mid Zidane. I've used Moment Zidane in draft. I've used Mid Zidane and I've used Baby Zidane and they're both really good cards. Um, I didn't actually realize how cheap this Prime Zidane was. I might pick this card up and give him a go. Maybe. I've always wanted to try this card, to be fair. I love the rest of the team, though, mate. The rest of the team is phenomenal. It's a really, really good team. Uh, congratulations on the team as well. Um, and good luck with the rest of the team of the season, mate. You know, maybe you get yourself a uh, red Dabala and you want to change the team completely. Or maybe you get yourself like a red C or seven. And get yourself, and you want to change up the team completely. And, and, and obviously go down that route if you want to if you want to change up the team completely in that way. But the rest of the team, though, I like it a lot. I think it's a great setup. And uh, and yeah, GG's. Next one coming from Matthew he says, Hi, Haber. Here is my team. The only tradable is Neymar. I got Henri from the Icon Pack. GG's. Wow. Prime Henri as well. Oh, my word. I play a 4 4 2 in game and have 1.2 mil coins at the moment. What improvements can I make? I'd like to get De Jong over. Uh, I, I prefer, sorry, and I prefer 91 to stay again. Um, over his team of the season. Keep it the good works. My, my, my mind just went blank there. I couldn't even speak. Um, who would you replace here with De Jong? I am guessing Becker? No, wait, surely not. Who would you replace with De Jong here? Maybe Fred? Maybe Essien? I wouldn't recommend getting De Jong realistically. Um, I don't think Fred or, or Essien are worth replacing right now, truthfully. Um, with 1.3 million coins... First things first, I would say get team of the season Wan-Bissaka at right back. I honestly think he's the best right back on the whole game. I really do. I think his strength, his pace, his, his skill moves, his passing, his work, everything works perfectly for him as a right back. I think he's the best right back on the game. 
that'll get you Fred on full cam as well. Um, and then I would just work on getting upgrade packs, work on getting team of the season guaranteed packs, see what you get in rewards. If you hit a huge reward player, it might change the team completely. So I wouldn't make uh, a huge change to the team. I see you've got Fekir at striker though. I've just noticed that. I'm not entirely sure about that one, but if it works, it works, you know, and you've got plenty options on the bench in case it's not working. Um, so yeah, I would just say hold off for upgrade packs, hold off for team of the season packs, see what happens. With a team like this, I don't want to sit there and be like, yo, get rid of Fekir for this guy, get rid of Fred for this guy, because... I think this team is built really well. The next one coming from Ashton. He says, hey, it's Haber. Uh, the second pick is in-game, investing all my coins into Allen. And once I have him, my whole team will be untradeable. Any suggestions after I get Allen? Keep it the good work. I totally forgot about Allen, to be fair. Uh, and thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it, dude. I totally forgot that SPC existed, to be fair. I don't think I would have recommended him to anyone, though, so far. Uh, I like this team. Yeah, I, I'll be honest with you. Um, I like this team a lot. I think that that works. That just works really well. Um... So yeah, I wouldn't really change anything, to be honest. Um, any suggestions after I get Allen, though? Uh, I think the only weak point then in the rest of the team is the left striker. And he's not really a weak point. It's just not amazing. You have, obviously, two Brazilians. So my instant thought is Neymar. He's about 300k right now and phenomenal still at this point in the game. Just normal Neymar. That could work really, really well. Aside from that, I don't have any of his suggestions. All right? The rest of the team is really, really good. I like this team a lot. Um, you know... You could maybe go with Vendel actually at left back. Now I just noticed that's just, just normal Alaba. You could go with the uh, you go with the the Vendel card that I recommended earlier, the UCL one. He's got the Brazilian link as well, so that'll work. The next one coming from Aiden, who says I got 450k. The tradables are Hernandez, Noya. Any suggestions will help keep up the good work. A hey, much love, man. Ooh, okay. I mean, straight away, I'm just gonna like the only thing you need to do here, bro. Congrats on the Holler and the Dalglish. Um, I would say get rid of this. You know, work on getting foot bad, they Hernandez. Work on getting team of season Hakimi. And you've got a, a great squad. And, and you know, and there you go. I would say them two upgrades are the only upgrades I would make to this setup because then you've got a fantastic squad. The rest of the squad is really good, though. And like I said, GG on the Hullet, GG on the Dalgalese. That's incredible. Um, that pack look is mental. GG. The next team coming from Rio who says, All in trade will have 160k. Where do I improve? Right, yeah, let's check it out. You're playing a 4 2 3 1. Um, Nabry, team of the season, Nabry. Obviously, that's that's one point of improvement. Werner, team of the season, Werner, another point of improvement. Um, I honestly, at this point in the game, with the amount of coins you've got, you don't really have any way you can improve instantly. The, this whole team is the best it possibly can be right now. But going forward, obviously, uh, just upgrading the plays you've got to the best versions of, the, of, of them uh, would work fantastically. Because the rest of the team is really, really good, to be honest. We're at a point now where we all have phenomenal teams. So uh, unless you guys want to start playing fun and, and getting, you know, full Super League Tots teams or something, you know, something crazy like that, then then it's just going to be the same thing, really. It's going to be upgrading this player to this player, upgrading that player to that player. Um, it's just because of the point of the game we're at, really. Uh, anyway, the last one coming from Matty, who says, I started the first team and the second team is in game. I got Serdar from the guarantee pack. Only tradables are Hernandez, Da Costa, Givenco, and Kazola. Uh, I only have 40k, but I'm happy to save. All right, bro, let's check it out. Uh, straight off the bat, bro, I don't, I, I massively disagree with this over here. Uh, bronzing a player and bringing a player off the bench because, um, the way that bringing a player on works, ZH won't have his chem style when you bring him on. He's just playing on the base chemistry. Um, and... If you get the kickoff and you get kickoff boost, you're then playing with a bronze player. Um, that's going to really suck. I would say you're better off going with a Bundesliga right wing that actually is not bad and playing Givenko and the right wing off Ken, maybe. Uh, I'm just thinking, actually, Rashika. Rashika. He, oh, he plays for... I don't know why I thought he played somewhere else. I thought he played for, for Wolfsburg, but he doesn't. You have a few not bad shouts for your, around your price range. Um, uh, you have Havertz, who could be a decent uh, ram in your setup here. Um, and obviously then late game, if you want to bring on ZH, then you can obviously bring on ZH. Um, and then you have Thorgan Hazard, uh, his wants to watch or his inform. Probably his wants to watch because the informs are inflated because of the mid-icon SBC. Um, this also could be a decent ram card for you. Um... You could try and save up for team of the season. Nabry, that could also work. Or get that that shapeshifter Rashika. Um, but the rest of the team is solid, to be fair. Uh, I would say once you've done that, once you've worked on that right wing, work on upgrading Bobby Moore to a better better icon centre-back. Um, 
Or you can I can you can go with like a you can you can work on getting flashback Boateng actually that would also get full chemistry and that would work pretty well. Um, but then the rest of the team is really solid in each position. I think is a good team. Um, and that's going to wrap up the episode. If you enjoyed the new format, let me know down below. If you want me to go back to the old one, I of course understand. Just let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you leave a like on the episode if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.